Now that our rule is configured, we should test it out to make sure that it is working as expected. So if we head over to my user profile page and click the edit tab, we'll find the field at the bottom of the page. If I try and save this without entering a date, I'll receive an error. So let's see if our rule works by logging out and logging back in. I'll head to the home page and log out. And then go ahead and log in. And sure enough, rules is triggered upon login and I have been redirected to my user profile edit page. At this point, it may not be apparent to users that there is a new field that needs to be filled out. So one thing you might want to do is display a message to let users know about the new field. This can also be done in rules, so let's go ahead and configure that message. We're going to configuration, workflow, rules, and we'll edit the rule we just created. And we're going to add an additional action. So we'll click add action. This time we're going to choose show a message on the site. And the value will be you've been redirected to your profile edit page because you don't have your birth date on file. Please enter your birth date in the field below and you will never see this message again. Cool. And then we have our message type. Now there's three types. There's a status, warning, and error. In the Bartik theme, the status is themed to be green. Warnings are yellow and errors are red. These might be different depending on the theme that you're using. We just want this to be a status message though. And then the repeat message option, if checked, the message will be displayed every time the rule is fired. If unchecked, the message will only be displayed to the user once. So I'm going to go ahead and show this every time until the user has filled in the field. So I'm going to leave it checked. We'll go ahead and save this. And now let's log out and log back in to see if this works. And sure enough, there's the message that is displayed at the top of the page. Now I'll go ahead and fill in a birth date. You can see the pop-up. I'm going to go ahead and just enter my birth date. Hit save. And now that's filled out, let's log out and log back in because we should no longer be redirected to that page. And sure enough, this time I stay on the home page, so it works.